Another really cute cake for a celebration, especially for a birthday, is what we call a hedgehog cake. Three cups of cake flour, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and four teaspoons of baking powder. Three, four. Now sift all this together, and while you're preparing, cream one pound, four sticks of unsalted butter and two cups of granulated sugar. We're gonna sprinkle in slowly. And we're adding vanilla seeds to this particular cake. You can mix it into your milk. Okay, add the dry ingredients and alternate with your milk. The flour, the milk. And this is whole milk. Now, Get your egg whites going, eight egg whites. And the bowl, this cake is baked in a stainless steel bowl, 10 inches across and at least four to six inches deep. And I've buttered the entire bowl. Then just sprinkle a little flour, say a tablespoon or so in the bowl and make sure the whole bowl is coated this will allow the cake to release after baking. And then bang it out. There, a well buttered and floured bowl. Okay, the egg whites are almost ready. Not dry, but nice eats. Do a few to start, just to lighten the batter. And then the rest. And the cake, 350 degrees and then rotate your bowl halfway through baking and a cake tester has to come out clean from the center of this deep cake. And it takes an hour and 40 minutes because of the depth of this cake. So be prepared. Get all the way down to the bottom of the bowl. Now put this batter right into this big bowl. So I'm gonna smooth this out and pop it into the oven. So the cake is baked and it's a gorgeous domed cake. Uh, look at the good color and very evenly baked. Uh, and now for the extraordinary flavorful fillings. Uh, we need a little bit of simple syrup, half a cup of water and a half a cup of sugar. And this will keep the cake very, very moist. And just dissolve the sugar and the water and bring it to a boil and then cook it until it's slightly thick and that's gonna take about five minutes and just watch it. Now here is a simulated double boiler. We have some water in the bottom of this pan and we have three large egg whites in the bowl of a mixer. And this is the beginning of the Swiss meringue, which is basically warmed sugared egg whites warmed until the sugar dissolves and we need two thirds of a cup of sugar to the three egg whites, two. And you have to watch this, stir it uh, periodically. It gets a little bit hot. Uh, the cake itself is so beautiful and we want to cut it into four layers. I've measured and every inch or so or every three quarters of an inch, just insert a toothpick. So it's one, two, three, four. So we take the top layer off first. Mm, such a beautiful cake. And use a long serrated knife. Yes, right there. Oh. So take this off and just, and then the next layer, and then you can leave your last layer. A well-made cake can be lifted like that without it falling all apart. And our egg whites are now warm enough to put on the mixer. So this gets beaten and beaten until they're very stiff. Our sugar syrup is almost finished boiling. Looks good. Now add almond flavored liqueur, three tablespoons. So now while the egg whites are beating, you can take your brush and brush a little bit of the cooled almond syrup all over the cake layer and add a half a teaspoon of almond extract 
to your meringue. Incorporate two sticks of nice whipped butter. Look at the consistency. It is light and airy and utterly delicious. Spread that. You want a nice even layer all the way to the edge. And now the next layer, again, soak this layer with your almond flavored syrup. Let it soak all the way in. Half a cup of apricot jam. And now the third layer, again, soak well. There, I used up all the syrup. And now another layer of your Swiss meringue buttercream. Mm, so pretty. And then we're going to coat the entire exterior with the remaining buttercream. And the cake at this point, before you apply the meringue, should be chilled. So here is our Swiss meringue. It's not a buttercream. It's just a meringue. It's eight egg whites beaten with two cups of sugar and a teaspoon of almond extract and a little bit of salt. You are just going to make spiky little spines all over the cake with a star tip. Just cover this with quills, pretty quills. And this should be enough meringue to do this. <gasps> so pretty. So if you notice how I'm, st I start at the surface of the cake and then I pull away, trying to emulate the little quills of the hedgehog. So now, this is the fun part, I love torching. Just lightly toast the tips. Now, you can make a little nose and a little eye here with chocolate-covered coffee beans and a little eye there. So over the years, I've served this cake many times. Children think it's a dog, a hedgehog, a polar bear. You decide. It always gets rave reviews.